Ah, uh, hello? Hello? Let me turn my BGM on. That's a BGM. Hey, everyone, how's it going? I'm gonna do some drawing. Let me just move all of my, my windows into the appropriate spaces. I got this drawing that I'm gonna finish. Wow, Lily doing personal art. Imagine. Imagine. I haven't done that in uh, a while. <laughs> so, uh, I have the sketch that I did this morning. I have the sketch that I did this morning. Uh, and then I have my own reference open in this because I forgot my color palette. Um, and it's easy to just drop the colors. Yeah, so I have the sketch that I did this morning. Uh, you can see I was using like a, a 3D model roughly, but then I changed it because I didn't like the pose when I'd drawn it, so I didn't follow the 3D pose exactly. <laughs> I like the Clip Studio um, uh, 3D thing is nice sometimes, but I feel like my anatomy just doesn't work with it, so I always end up like straying from it. Fashionable, thank you. Uh, so I have like a, a, a background ready for later, which is just like a warped zigzag pattern. But uh, I'm gonna hide that for now. Uh, I'm gonna hide that for now. Wait, I'm not gonna hide the drawing because I need to line up that. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just gonna go in and line up. Yeah, um, I asked on Twitter and uh, people wanted to see some personal art for a change. So here I am doing some personal art. I guess I only ever really do commissions on stream these days. Uh, is my uh, audio level okay? How's it going? Let me know if there's any issues with my audio level, basically. Oh, you don't know if the BGM is actually on or not? Hmm, it should be. Can you hear it now? It's a little quiet at the minute. But I think that's like, the track is quiet, you know? Sorry, I'm moving all of my windows around. I feel like I need like a, a third monitor, like, like two isn't enough. Welcome! Nice to see you! How are you doing? Urge to fill an entire wall with screens rising. Honestly, honestly. But I don't have that much space. Like, like <laughs> above my um, desk, I have like... Uh, that, like, there's already stuff there. Um, I have like a little wall board for all of my commission stuff. Hope I'm doing well. I am! I am, I am. I don't think my lashes are actually that thick. I'm just gonna... I'll turn those down a little bit. I have really short eyelashes, just like, in general. Fun fact. Really short eyelashes. Mascara does nothing for me. Mm -mm -mm. How's everyone? Saturday! Happy Saturday! Happy Saturday. Ooh. Okay, now I need a thinner brush, because that brush is quite wide. This brush is still quite wide. I think that's more an issue with my pen pressure than anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need to move that pupil. I need to move that pupil. I feel like my stream is a little like, there's a little bit more latency than usual. Um, but if my stream is stable, then I don't really mind. So I, I apologize if you have like a little bit of a delay between uh, typing and me replying. Uh oh, I did not. <laughs> I didn't do that right. How do I draw my lower lashes again? It's like one eyelash out of the side, right? You don't think the delay is that huge? That's good, that's good. Anyone else forget how to draw themselves constantly? When you're like a YouTuber and you have like a character design? And I'm like, mm, well, I should probably know how to draw myself, shouldn't I? Oh! Hi Danny! Thank you for the sub! You're so kind to me. I just realized that I, I need to turn on my Twitch integrated throwing system. So give me a second. Twitch integrated throwing system. Come here. <laughs> You're here to see cute vampire? Thank you. I am I'm, I'm drawing something for me. For me. <laughs> it's for me. Is my Twitch integrated throwing system opening? Oh yeah, it is. I have like so many things to open when I start streaming. Now I always forget something. Okay, I think it should be working now. I'm sorry that uh, I didn't have it on when you resubbed. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. It's a sound effect, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a really funny sound effect. Sometimes I feel like jump scared by it though, you know? Sound effect is really charging. Yeah, that's the sound effect of me getting powered up immensely. Having something thrown at you is normally a jump scare. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't classify, like, you know... <laughs> I was gonna say something really stupid there. I was like, you know sports? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure most people do know sports. Uh, like, you know in sports when someone passes a ball to you? Like, that's not a jump scare, but, like, usually you can anticipate that. You guys ever heard of sports? <laughs> Because I haven't. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sports sounds interesting, tell me more. Uh, it's when you uh, get the ball and you do a score, I don't know. You do a score. My subtitle thinks that I'm saying school. Score. There you go. <laughs> There we go! Hey, 
Here's a sports bowling. True. Sports is when you get the ball and then you cast out for a penguin number three. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. Sports is when you get the ball and you cast Emperor Penguin number one, and then you die. Uh, thank you, level five, for inventing sports. That's forbidden sport? Well, whatever. Do I look like a person that plays sport? Do I look like I play sport? Forbidden sports are still sports? Yeah, exactly. I noticed recently that I draw so many, like, winky face expressions. And I probably should draw something else, but the thing is that doing a big wink is really cute. And therefore, I don't care. <laughs> you can even be cool and wink. Yeah, exactly. Two game points are going on fire. That sounds bad. The only thing stronger than a wink is winking with both eyes at once. You are so correct. You sometimes gain points for being on fire. Well, that doesn't sound very consistent, does it? A big wink, blink. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Me trying to remember what the side angle of my face looks like by just turning. <laughs> Thank you all for the poster check. I will do a little stretch and I will reseat myself. Thank you. And hydration check. Ooh, you guys will be excited to hear. I'm not drinking tea today. I've got lemonade. Delicious. Yeah, a little treat. I'm not gonna lie, um, it's, it's a little bit flat. I would I would like it to be more aid. You know, it's it's a lot of lemon and not so much aid. But I don't mind, because I like the taste of lemon. Professor Peppy. I like that one. Sorry, I think, uh... My angle was off on this face, so I'm just kind of restructuring this cheek because when I look this way, I have like more curve in my cheek, you see? But now that looks wrong too. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let me mesh transform and just pull this out a little bit more. This outfit looks incredible. Thank you! I am, um, I'm gonna be honest, I uh, wanted to buy clothes, and I shouldn't buy clothes, so I drew clothes instead. Yeah, I have been wearing quite a bit of pink lately. Like, like I have like that like raspberry red pink in my design. 
Um, but I don't know. I think it's fun to, to, to change it up a little bit. Extremely strong. Thank you, thank you. Nope. But yeah, I feel like I haven't uh, drawn anything for, for me in a while. I've been kind of like hung up on doing commissions. Uh, which is a good thing basically because it means that obviously like I'm doing work and I'm getting work. Uh, but it's good for me to do something, uh, for myself, and then try some new things. Making real money online, yeah. <laughs> I've got hiccups, no! It's nice to have fun and play about and be self-indulgent. Yeah, you're right. Charging up the creative battery. Exactly. So, like, uh, hopefully, I'll take a break, do this piece, and then when I go back to commission work, um... I'm like I'll I'll feel like refreshed and I'll do better. And it also gives me time to like sit away from my commissions and like view them with fresh eyes, you know? That's where the shoulder seam will go. No, it isn't. That's where the shoulder seam will go. No, it isn't. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. It's like cap sleeve? Is that what it's called? That track made me feel weird for a second. Whoa. <laughs> I have like a like a, a stream use medley going on. From one of the, the couple places that I use music from. This also doesn't look correct. Like that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. And then I, there's another shirt because layering is good. Layering is cool and fun. Instead of wearing one shirt, have you tried wearing four? <laughs> because if not, maybe you should.
<laughs> Oops. Erased too far. I erased a little bit too far. goodness thank you so much al i really really appreciate it thank you for your delicious jump scare <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you Scary treat, yeah. I think it's funny to get accidentally jump scared by your own screen. The, the bit stream. I think it's funny. To like mm, maybe pull the shoulder further over. Yeah, okay, I think that looks a little bit better. I think just this curve was too harsh. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this on my mole, but I have a mole here. There is one. You can see it, actually. It's on the screen. Town point, yeah. Sorted. I'm okay with the size of the head here. I adjusted the sketch a lot because I felt like I always feel like I draw the head too big and then I have to downsize. Let me take a drink of lemonade. Delicious! Delicious! Mm mm mm. Okay. I'm drawing the very like basic bits right now and then I'll add all of the details later. Nobody knows how big a head is supposed to be, yeah. Nobody's ever, ever seen a face, so. Hi, Gasta! Welcome! Congratulations on your ability to use emotes. <laughs> Enjoy! Real art hours? Yeah, hi! Welcome, welcome! Nice to see you!
Yeah, I'm doing something for myself today. Imagine. This music is nuts. I feel like it's gonna make me draw like five times the speed that I usually do. Love the boots. Yeah, I, I drew like, so they're actually like short boots with a leg warmer over. Um, and the leg warmers, they're like a different color palette, but they are based off some leg warmers that I really, really want. So I can send you the link. <laughs> Uh, like, I adjusted them a bit for the drawing, obviously, but... Hi, Tenty, welcome! Thank you, thank you! Yeah, I'm drawing something for my damn self! Imagine! Hey, can you see the link? Yeah, I'll send you it later. Like, one with the park. I I own leg warmers in real life. I wear them a lot in real life. <laughs> what are we drawing? I'm drawing my damn self. Here, let me show you the outfit. Um, so I have this sketch that I was working on. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of patterns, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I actually I originally drew this in black and pink, but I decided that I like the navy and pink a bit more. It feels a bit more vibrant. Um, it's a color combination that I have been wearing a lot recently in real, also. So, uh, that's my- that was my thought process. I originally drew it in the black and pink, and then I thought, nope, you know what, let's go navy and pink. I feel like a lot of the stuff I've been drawing recently for myself has just been like like a bit boring so I thought that I would invent an outfit, do a weird pose that I've never drawn before, like l let's just go, let's just go. This shorts leg, this shorts, this side of the shorts needs to go up a little bit I think. It looks slightly longer than the other side. How's everyone's day so far? I hope you're having a good one. It's actually pretty nice out where I am, um, surprisingly. However, um, it's nice enough that my allergies have kicked off, and so I am living in hay fever hell. I've got hay fever, hay fever suffering. Anyone else in the chat hay fever sufferers? Oh, PvP! I haven't played Final Fantasy XIV PvP in a while, but I really enjoyed it when I did play it. You're not a hay fever sufferer. Lucky! I don't recommend having hay fever. I think uh, if anyone in the chat, if you have hay fever, you should just get rid of it. <laughs> you should just throw it away. Check it out. Nobody wants that shit. It sucks. It makes you feel bad. Your eyes hurt, and your nose hurts, and your throat hurts, and your everything hurts. Then you take a tablet and you get really sleepy. And that's hay fever. 
Okay, I should probably draw the boot first on this side. So I'm just gonna... Oh god. Oh, I see. You're in a different kind of suffering. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to draw this shoe. Be careful, the lactose count is high today. Me when I eat anything. I think I would just die if I was lactose intolerant. I would just be like, no. No, I refuse. <laughs> the lactose intolerance in the bin. Okay, and then I want the soul to have like these big chunky stripes in, so I'm I'm drawing I'm drawing that. Do a movie marathon! Oh that sounds fun. What movies? I hope that your movie marathon gives you some some enjoy time, you know? Now, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I feel like I should have, like, drawn a rough reference for this outfit first, because I'm just kind of making it, like, I just kind of made it up as I went along. Oh, I haven't seen that. I've heard very mixed things about it. <laughs> but I think that's why it sounds interesting. Oops, wrong layer. Wrong layer! Erase, erase, erase. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that shoe. Lemonade time. Delicious. Sorry, I have like a big metal cup with a big metal straw in, so uh, you can hear me like clanking around when I drink my lemonade. <laughs> Just gonna get my lemonade. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> this is the part where I have to draw hands. I've been drawing a lot of hands recently, actually. I think my, my hand drawing skill is improving. Like, I quite enjoy drawing hands anyway, but... Um... I don't know, I just... Recently, I've been drawing a lot of hands. I want long nails or do I want like like just average length round nails? Pauses, okay.
Is that clause easy enough for you? They're definitely claws. Yeah, I drew the I drew the the like piece part like slightly too far over, but that's okay. I can adjust that in the sketch, you know. Like I like I I, I drew it slightly too far over. So the palm will go like that. I think I might have like downsized this hand slightly too much. When do we get that? I don't know, ask Danny. <laughs> Anytime is probably the answer. adjusting this hand because I think I made it too like wide and not long enough. I don't know. I'm looking at my own hands but I have like weirdly long hands. Roller derby names? That's a thing. I don't really know anything about Roller Derby, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, those are some strong names. stuff, drawing half a hand and then immediately covering it up. <laughs> and that's art. <laughs>
Artists just love to draw things and then go, oh, I need to cover that up, actually. That's a lie, we don't. But we do it all the time. I wanna wear those funny shoes with wheels on? Yeah, I heard of them. Heelys. Uh, I need to tell you guys, actually, like, I am so fucking good at healing. Like, I still own Heelys. I... I'm fucking poggers at healing. So if all the Dolly's anything like Heelys, sorry, but I'm winning. I'm really good at healing. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Getting there. Haven't rollerbladed in years. You used to rollerblade? That's nice. I used to roller skate a little bit when I was a kid, but like, I haven't since then, basically. I, I moved to Healy's and never looked back. Oh, you tried a skateboard? Mate. Sorry about my very loud cup. Blank, blank, blank. I'm kind of scared of skateboards, I'm not gonna lie. Yet I'm not scared of skiing. Interesting. <laughs> it's weird because, like, by every ounce of logic, I should be terrified of skiing. Like, like, I don't like, I don't like skateboarding. I don't like heights. I, I don't like any of that stuff. I don't really like sports. Uh, I fucking love skiing. <laughs> it's the only sport I'm good at. Does this know if you're friend? Yeah. <laughs> Wish you were cool. You are cool! Don't put yourself down, you are cool. Interesting. I uh, I can relate with the car thing. I technically have a license, but I don't drive because it makes me freak out. Driving when you're freaking out isn't fun or good. I used to do rugby. I used to do. Oh, uh, I have so. Fun fact, I used to play hockey, um, and then I now, I, 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 well like when I was a kid, 
and then I had to stop playing hockey because I started getting scared because I have a cool scar, like here, <laughs> from playing hockey. It's like, it's like on my hairline. You still stop doing hockey hockey? I didn't. <laughs> they just kept on going. They were like, ah, oh, yeah, that thing, those, th those things happen. Don't worry about it. I was like, okay. All right, almost done with this hand. Not a lot of this hand is going to be showing, which is fine. Then we can start working on the hair! Hmm, let's keep going. Oh my god, has anyone, like... I don't know what's up with Twitter these days, but I get, like, seven spam messages a day now in like four languages and i'm like dude i've had enough how does my own hair work it doesn't go that that, that long it's like here the front part I haven't had that problem yet on TweetDeck. I'm on TweetDeck! I use TweetDeck and mine looks like a right state. I don't want to hire a GFS artist. Oh my god, just don't even. I honestly, a while back I had, I was like messaging, not messaging, I was tweeting about my own, my own model that I made myself. Uh, and I got a, a spam message being like, uh, talk to me about what model you want. Uh, and I didn't see it for a while because I was away. And then when I got back, they blocked me and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, dude. Get you up. Oh, that a wildly bold. Yeah, they so are these days. Yeah, they they are uh, mostly bots, but like it's just it's just nuts. Like the but why did it go back and block me when I didn't reply to them, dude? Ugh. God, the internet is so weird. Longer than my like model's hair actually is, but mm, well, I don't care. Got extensions in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you guys know that my long hair in this level is extensions anyway, because I can take them out. Which button is it? 
This one? Yeah, see, look, I can take them all out. Oh, it's just like, it's just like short at the back. Put them back in. So I can just change it, it's fine. Powerful magic, yeah. Hair extensions. They're very useful. <laughs> My hair is uh is already getting really long. Like like basically like when I made this model, my bangs were like fully there, and then now I basically don't have bangs anymore because like they're so long. <laughs> And I'm also making the back of my hair a little bit more straight than it is in my actual model because I just think it looks nicer than this outfit and pose. Um, to have like straighter extensions in. And because it's extensions I can do what I want with it basically. Like I may as well just take the opportunity to do what I want with it. all these underlines that I don't need. Blah. Okay, and then here also... Here also. Put my little hat on. I'm gonna put my little hat on. Wouldn't be a lily outfit without a funny little hat. top hats those are cute i really like those <laughs> i really like those the ones that go like they go like this right on the side they have like big frills attached yeah i love those <laughs> i'm i'm a big fan yeah yeah They are great! You guys are so right. That doesn't look centered. Okay, that looks a bit better. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna draw these little corsity bits in.
<laughs> I'm worrying that I'm making myself look too chest, you know? Nah, you know what? I think it's fine. Draw these cool little sports stripes down the side of these shorts. What else? Uh, oh, there was a necklace that I was gonna- I was gonna draw like a little thing for. Tommy growl. Why do I always get so hungry on stream? It's like I haven't even been streaming that long yet. It's only been like an hour. You get goths at the supermarket? And draw myself? I sure am. For the first time in a million years. But I'm just making up an outfit to have fun with. about what I'm doing here. It, it'll make sense. It'll make sense. Okay, I'm just gonna erase some lines there. Trim these down a little bit. I'm gonna fill in that little gaps. Fill them in. Trim these down. These are like bending around, so I'm not gonna trim them exactly. I'm gonna like let them overhang a little bit compared to the line. Okay, then I'm gonna edit uh, convert brightness to opacity, and then now it's a line. Wow, how smart! So easy. So easy. I just erase what's inside. I have line art. Like it'll need a little bit of overpainting, but it's pretty it's pretty solid. I'm gonna do the same for the longer bits. Opacity. Okay, 
This is like really annoying stuff to do, but um, I like to add details. Cool. So uh, now I have some line art. So I think I'm gonna work on blocking in some colors. Obviously I haven't drawn in all of the patterns that I wanted to add yet. But that's something that I'm going to add later, I think. Uh, so I'm going to take the sketch into a new... A new thing. And start adding colours. Uh, there are some details I still have yet to draw, but um, that's okay. I'm not going to be too precise with these. Ooh, I forgot to do some erasing there. Okay. Do it now. Tiny bit of tumby. I messed up some of the lines here, but that's okay. I do so much overpainting anyway. The tumby is out, it sure is. Just a tiny bit. So that's the skin tone there. hair colour. I can already see that I've got a little gap here where I want to fill in the hair so I'm gonna uh, add that in. Yup. Nice, 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 nice. Yep. Incorrect. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Doesn't need to be exact because I'm gonna paint it and stuff later so. Approximate is fine for now. Because there's a lot of finicky bits, I'm putting the layer underneath the skin layer and then I can... I can... Uh, add wow! Y7! Thank you for the raid! Hi! How are you doing? Hi everyone! Hello raiders! Welcome, welcome! We're doing some drawing today! How was your stream? How was your stream? How was your stream? I hope it was good. Y7 raid, yay! Thank you, thank you! Hi, how's it going? I hope you had a good stream, what were you playing? Oh, hold on, let me do a shout out. Shout out. There you go. Wonderful! Hi everyone! Hi hi! Welcome! I hope you had a lovely day! Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm chilling out and doing some drawing, so if you... If you feel like hanging out, um, feel free! Played some Spyro? Oh, I love Spyro! Banger game of all time, honestly. Banger game of all time. I'm doing a little bit of self-indulgent drawing today, which I don't really think I've ever done on stream before. So we're, we're having a, a, a nice little, a nice little drawing time. Just finished off all of our line art. Ah, oh, I love Spyros. I think I still have all of my old Spyros, um, like, in my house somewhere. That's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. 
So, um, for the stripey bits, I'm gonna start filling in with the dark blue first, and then I'll add the pink stripes later. Oh, actually, that's the lighter blue, isn't it? And then the darker blue is on the shorts. Yep. And the shoes. Again, with the shoes, I'm going to add the pattern later. Didn't know I had a model in my shoulder. I do! It's on my model, actually. You can still see it. Hold on, let me... Watch out! Look, there it is. It's over there. <laughs> it's over there! Yeah, I got one. Uh, but you don't really see it in my model, so I figured I'd, I'd, you know, shove it in this drawing, because why not? Okay, now we've just got the, uh, the, the pinks and stuff to add. So that's the dark blue. Let me just name that layer. Lovely. Add some pink. Add some subtle details. Yeah, I do, I do. The thing is with VG models is that you can fit so many details in and most of them never get seen and it's so sad. Um But I don't know, you can draw them, why not? Why not? Clear in these ribbons. Hat is also this color, isn't it? Oh, and the nails are also this color. Ah, oh, I used a lot of this pink, didn't I? Sometimes you gotta find an excuse to show everything below. Show oh, honestly, honestly, you're so correct. Oh no, it's this one, isn't it? Like a little triangle here that I didn't fill in. Uh, I still have more pink to add, so I don't know why I clicked off of that. I got distracted, I guess. Oops, that's the dark blue. And then I've got the red. Um, a lot of the red is going to be in the patterns, I think, but that's okay. I'll add the solid bits for now. Mm -mm. Which I think is just that, actually. And then the rest will be when I add detail. Which is fine. Okay, flat colours. I'm done. Wait, no they're not because I have to colour in the white parts. And also the tongue. That's another thing with my model. I can stick my tongue out, but I never do it. <laughs> like, I can do it. I just... I never really do. <laughs> because it's really hard to talk while you are sticking your tongue out, you know? <laughs> like, what's the point? Okay, so now if I turn the background on, you can see the whole image and not just parts of it or the line art or whatever. Okay, cool, let's color. Oh, my coloring is a little patchy, but that's okay. It will be less so later.
Uh, I'm gonna color in the eyes first, just because that's how I like to work. Do I ever struggle with shopping? With shopping? Like, in what way? Food shopping? Mm, not really, I'm gonna be honest. Like... Deciding, budgeting... Um, not really. I think it, it, like, I live with family at the minute, so that really helps. But when I, when I lived, uh, by myself, yeah. And also, I just, like, I hated cooking. Like, I don't really mind anymore, but I, I went through a phase where I just hated cooking. Okay, coloring eyes time. One of my favorite bits. Lovely. Um, highlights, yeah. Or my effects brushes, there they are. Sometimes it is so easy to just forget how to draw. That's so nice, so cute. Thank you! Did you send your character clips? I don't think you did! Gotta. You gotta. I need to view. After stream, I will view. Oh, I think I like those uh, highlights better, more solid, actually. I'll just blend the inside instead of the outside. Okay, and then highlight color. That's something that I change from piece to piece to like match the art. So I'm gonna make it like a blue tone this time. I know this looks nuts. Don't worry, I got it. So I'll just knock it back with a soft brush a bit. Lovely. Eyes. Eyes! We can draw! I want more lemonade. Give me a second. Slope time. Delicious! Love the pink claws. Yeah! My model has claws on it, but you never really see it. Wait, hold on. I literally have my breath open here. See, I got claws. I got claws. Little red claws. So I just made them pink for this one. Okay, let's go ahead and start with some face shading. Face? Not just face, skin in general. Uh, I'm just gonna add a really subtle gradient. First, I think you can do whatever you want with your design because uh, playing by rules is boring. I think if you want monster balls, you should just give monster balls. Oh, 
Oh, well, yeah, then you can always try it, and if you don't like it, you can just, like, decide against it, you know? Iteration. Iteration. My advice would be to sketch it on, see if you like it. And if not, then just, uh, remove. Iteration is a something something of innovation, yeah, it's alright. I'm really biased because I love iterating. A can of Arizona back hole? What is that? I don't know what that looks like. I'm sorry. Hold on. Arizona bear claw. Oh, it's giving me a place to rock climb. <laughs> not, not, uh, not a drink brand. Oh, it's lemonade? Ah, oh, tasty. Rock climbing in a can. Oh, golden bear? Okay. No worries. I, to be fair, I don't know what that is either, so... My my response would have been the same. <laughs> wow. I love fancy, like, cam designs. It's like, yeah, why not? Why not go nuts on your, uh, like, drink cam design? Like, nobody's stopping you. Go off. I feel like I'm shading a little harsher than I usually do, but that's okay. We can experiment. It's for me, so... I'm allowed to do what I like. I used to not be a huge fan of a softer brush, but now I really, really am. I love my soft brush. Ow, 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 my leg hurts. Hold on, I need to reseat myself. <sighs> leg hurty. Like her teeth. Maybe I should make this like more red toned. I don't know. Mm, let me try and then I'll see what I feel like. No, 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 I don't want it to go grey. Hang on. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just playing about with layer things now. I don't know what I'm doing, basically, so... Does it need to be more red tones? Let me just shade underneath there. Let me turn the background on. Oh, it might need to be slightly more red toned. Yeah, okay, you know what? We're going even harsher on the shading. I don't... I, I, I think we can. I think we can afford to. Great with a very vampire mood. Yeah, you're right. But it's also not what I look like. <laughs> I guess if I'm going darker on the shadows, I can go lighter on the highlights, maybe? Kind of balance things out. Yeah, you know what? I think we can go slightly lighter on the highlights if we're going darker on the shadows. Okay, now hands. Okay. Oops, I actually picked up the grey, not the grey, the black instead of the colour. mind if the shading on the hand isn't perfect but I would just like it to be readable and I think that's readable to me that's readable um, and then this one I'm gonna use a little bit of that more harsh color um, here just because it's further back I always feel like darkening like the edges helps it to look curved more rather than flat 
Or oh, lately I've been doing that a lot anyway. Like, it looks like it's it's got substance to it, rather than just being, like, a flat object. If I, I darken all of the edges, regardless of, of where things are coming from. Nobody's skin is perfectly smooth here because your arms do a little crease. So I'm drawing that. Similarly, no one's skin is smooth here because everything does a, a, a crease. Nobody's gonna smooth here either. You so hard. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I should have more redeems. I should. I need to like think of some more to add. I wanted to put my automaton one back on, but I haven't been able to get batteries yet. I, I, I every time I go, like I'm like, yeah, I should get batteries. I like, I'm like, oh, I forgot and then repeat forever. Yeah, I don't know what redeems to have. How serious? No, 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 I don't, I don't mean like, I don't mean like, oh my god, don't do that. No, like, it's fine. I should have said it in a, a funny tone of voice to, to make it more obvious. I should have been like, oh my god, don't do that! I don't know. Okay. Oh wait, I still have more things to do. Eyeshadow! Oh, should we add a colour? Should I, should I go for like coloured eyeshadow? Oh, it's a look? Yes, it is! I can add blush too? Yeah, I will do. Am I gonna add my silly little eye bags? Because, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my VTuber does have eye bags. Very subtle ones, but yeah. I have dark circles. Okay. Nothing glitter. Backlit is too small. There we go. I see she was sleepy. Yeah. Sparkly eyeshadow? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, do I want blush as well? Is the question. 
Or is blush as well going to be like a lot? Do you think it makes popular lipstick? Oh yeah, they absolutely do. Okay, I'm not going to add a lot of blush, but I will add just a tiny bit. Yeah, 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 they, they make a lot of sparkly lipstick. Do I think it would fit this pink? There's only one way to find out! Okay, it needs to be a little lighter too. I think the answer might be yes, you know. Good idea. I think so. I think that this needs to be more downwards, this highlight. Spacing, otherwise it looks... Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, good call. <laughs> I tend to draw really subtle lipsticks, so it's rare for me to, to put a big one on. Okay, hat! And I'll just add the back. So I'm gonna do my usual technique for gradient hair, which is um, like draw all of the hair and then gradient map the the end of it to to um what am I doing? What am I trying to say? Uh, gradient map the end of it to try and uh, create the gradient. So for now, I'm just gonna be like drawing the hair. Can I actually be a little bit more, like blue or toned than that? Yeah, that's better. We can keep the warm toned as the the shading because obviously we're using like a warm tone for the uh, the skin tone as well on the shading. Uh, we like made it slightly more red, so that's fine. Can you see the initial sketch? Yeah! Um, so I have the sketch here. I don't have any previous version of this, but uh, this is the, the like... The like sketch that I was working from. So I haven't added all of these details in yet, um, because I'm going to do these with gradient map and similar things later, like partway through the colouring, so that the shading doesn't look too detached. Uh, but yeah, that was my, that was my, like, sketch for it. Your line tends to be on model? Like, like, how do you mean? Like, follow it. Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Um, like, I have my sketch underneath here, like, my sketch is still underneath here. Uh, it's just that I pulled it into a different window so I could pick the colors easier. There's no like right way, way or wrong way to to 
to do it. Basically, whatever works for you. Uh, some people, like, don't line art, they just clean up the sketch and then that's it. Um, and I think it looks really nice, but I can't do that myself. I struggle to, like, understand what I'm doing. Uh, but I think if you can, may as well. You know, doing line art is a lot of work. Uh, some people really don't like line arting it, and so they just don't do it, and I, I think that's fine. Basically, just trial and error and see what works for you is my opinion with everything to do with art, basically. Uh, when I was a kid, my art teacher at the time told me that I was getting frustrated because I was drawing pictures that were worse than pictures that I previously drawn. Uh, and my art teacher told me that you can't draw a perfect picture and you have to draw thousands of bad pictures for every good picture you make. Uh, and that has stuck with me very strongly. Not everything has to be perfect. And it's impossible for everything to be perfect. And it's such an easy thing to forget. Like, I forget it all the time still. And I'm the one recommending the advice. That's just life. Absolutely, but also for every, um, like, every air quotes bad piece, you learn something new, right? Like, as long as you can look back at it and say, okay, I tried something different, I decided that I didn't like it, but at least I tried it. That's fine. And, like, it doesn't matter what you learn from it. It can be, like, it can be, like, okay, I don't like my line art that way, or it can be, like, uh, I should spend more time on the base sketch that I did this time around. Like, it, it could be anything, basically. It is very, very hard, especially with, uh, like, social media, to, to have, like, a healthy relationship with art. And I think a lot of people have to keep reminding themselves uh, this, that, and the other. This has turned into, like, Lily's opinions about art time. And, like, another thing is, like, is, like, so people are like, oh, like, everything this artist draws is perfect, and I'm, I'm, I guarantee you that it's not. Uh, because you don't see everything that every artist draws. You guys don't see everything that I draw. <laughs> and let me tell you, some of the things I draw really do not look good in the moment. If it's your job, yeah, it's so different to do it as a job. <laughs> Sus? What's us? Did I actually- did I accidentally say Among Us? Did I say Among Us? A 
A Mogus? A Mogus? Not showing all art. Well, nobody ever shows all of their art. Like, I don't show you guys every, like, shitty base sketch that I do that doesn't turn into a full piece, you know? I draw like five sketches a day and I, uh, most of them go absolutely nowhere. I go, ooh, <laughs> that pose is, uh, is uh, drawn very badly or like, ooh, that pose, like, I don't know, like that hand doesn't make any sense. And then I put it in the bin and then I do it again another time, you know? <laughs> you draw about one thing a year. That's fine too. You don't have to draw every day. I do because it's my job, but... You guys should see how, how many times it takes me to get like a commission sketch down sometimes. I should draw more of my- I should do more of my sketching on camera so like... Everyone can understand. I don't think I like the way I called this hair. And it's like, oh my god, like I- for This is an example, but I had a commission a while back now that, um... I was really excited to do, but I just couldn't get the pose right. And I think I did, up until I finished the line art stage, three times before I was happy with what I'd made. Like, I, I like got like halfway, like fully halfway through the commission, and I was like, this isn't good enough. And then I, I was like, mm, time to time to go again. And it's like, it's annoying because like, I don't know. Like I repurpose a lot of the sketches into other things because like it's it's you know, I have to I have to finish things to improve, you know? Um but like when it's a commission, like I have to to know when to stop and when to do something else. Nobody ever shows off everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's like I do post most of my art, but I'm never going to be posting all of my art because there's so much stuff that I don't want to show because it doesn't reflect the usual quality of my work, I guess. <laughs> you know what? I respect that so much. I respect that so much. But yeah, nobody's posting their like their like shitty half finished uh, things that they don't like to their Twitter account, right? Like you see every artist's pieces that they like themselves. Hi, welcome, welcome. Was it good? Yeah, sorry, it just turned into me talking about my opinions on art for a while. Good opinions on art. Thank you. Nobody's ever told me that before. 
World first. But yeah, next time you, you see an artist on Twitter, uh, remember that you are never seeing every single sketch that they hate. You're seeing every... you're seeing only the pieces that they love and that they want to share, you know? Okay, I think I'm getting a little close with this. Once again, my drawing hair strategy of just draw lines until you think it looks okay is, is happening. Okay, great map time. Uh, I always do this for 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 hair coloring, but I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go through it again. So what I do is I, I copy the layer and I uh, paste it, and then I go into the gradient map window, which sadly you can't see on stream because like Zero has too many windows for me to capture, and then I take the colors that I want to um, like add to the hair. So I'm taking like the reddish color and the pinkish color here and making it look how I want it to. I think this needs to be a little bit more pink. So now it just looks like the whole hair is pink, right? Uh, but I have the regular layer underneath, uh, like the ungradient map layer underneath. And all I'm gonna do is just erase until I get the smooth gradient that I want. There we go, perfect. All I wanted. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration check. I will take a sip of my delicious lemonade. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, gradient maps are so useful for like everything. I'm gonna be using a lot of them in this piece, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and work on this light blue. I say light, it's, it's already like navy, but the lighter shade of blue. Uh, and I need to add the pink stripes on these armbands as well. I'm actually going to use a really similar technique on those. some highlight actually yeah I want to like add some like ruching to the chest part I just I really like shirts with like ruching here I think it just gives it like an extra layer of texture. You'll see in a lot of designs I do, they either have ruching this way or like this way. <laughs> Mm. 
makes it look so cute. Yeah, I think it's just like extra, it's extra detail, it's extra fun, you know? Yeah, it adds so, so much. Okay. Need some shading over here. Some creasing, you know, fun stuff. It looks like a little bit too silky almost. Is there such a thing? I've decided there isn't and it's fine. Okay, I'm literally gonna do the same as what I did before, so I am going to copy paste uh, tonal correction and gradient map, and then I'm going to gradient map it to the red tone that I want it to be. Pick some colors off of everything else. And this way the, the, the shading like stays connected. You know? I'm adding a little bit of orange as the highlight colour. So now I've got that. Uh, obviously the shirt wants to remain blue so I'll just get rid of all of that. Uh, and then I'll take the bits that are striped, and I'll just erase the patterns in the stripes. And then the shading continues. Pasta check, thank you! I am shrimping really bad. Thank you very much. You guys take such good care of me. <laughs> yep, lovely. De shrimp myself. Ah, lovely. Thank you very much for the redeem. Do the same on the back on. But yeah, I really need to decide on some more redeems, but I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> so if you if you have any ideas, let me know and I'll try and figure something out. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. You know, I'm not satisfied with the way that I shaded the skin here. I feel like it makes the face look too big. I don't know that I'll finish this whole thing on stream, but uh, we can try. Dark blue. So I'm gonna take this pretty close to black, but like more saturated.
I just think because the outfit is so bright and the background is so bright, like, it really works to have super more saturated than usual colours. I guess I wouldn't call this super saturated, but it is more saturated than usual. Okay, keep it in the middle seam. I really like drawing seams in clothing. It's one thing that I really, really enjoy doing. Such a sporty look. Yeah, I really like, like, sporty looking clothes. But I don't like them in a sport way, I like them in a fashion way. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they knock off when you just shorts, yeah. I love like sports stripes. And like the fabrics that sportswear is made of. And then I am going to add some ruching along the waistband to make it look like elasticated, but I'm going to do it really simply. Like this. I'm basically just drawing like zigzaggy lines up and down. You're wearing <laughs> I guess shorts right now? Oh my god! Twinning! But Adidas is three, right? It's three stripes, not two. Right? I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Makes a bit more sense. And then I wanted to add the like little skull pattern on the boot, so I'm gonna surprise, surprise! I'm gonna do the same again. Total correction gradient map. Make it. Pale this time. So I don't want it to be quite like that, I think. But I do want it to be almost white. Like that. Or maybe I want it to be kind of blue tinted white. It's a little too dark, I think. I'm too grey. Yeah, okay, and then I'll erase the bits that I don't want to be white. And now I'm just gonna draw some fun little little skull patterns in here. I want them to be like cartoony, so I don't mind. Oops, I wasn't supposed to do a full circle, was I?
And it retains the shading, so it looks like a, a complete, a complete bit. What am I trying to say? Like a like a complete item. It like continues. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like the shading doesn't break. I guess. Oops! I accidentally. I accidentally um collided in the soul and flipped it. Like erase it. That's okay. Cool. Oh, I'm obsessed with the little skull shorts. Skull shorts, skull boots. Uh, and now I know what the shading on that looks like. I can use those colors for here. Complete drip. Thank you. Thank you. Working very hard. That's a little too dark for the eye shading. I think. That's better. Nice. Uh, and then I've got the pink and the red, yeah? We're almost there, chat. So yeah, I really want to like saturate the pink in the shaded areas. Create some folds. Create some highlights. I'm just gonna use a soft brush and just add a little tiny bit of highlight. I really don't want very much. Again, creating some folds in the hat because they tend to go a little slouchy at the back. And then leg warmers. Obviously, they got some slouch in them. And then I actually want these leg warmers to be like ribbed, if I can, to look like knitted almost. So I'm gonna take a light colour, just slightly lighter. Nope, actually I'm gonna take the darker colour and I'm gonna draw some little lines in. Um, and hopefully that should give them the look that I want. This one I'll take a, a slightly dark colour. That might be too dark, even. Oh, actually, no, you know what? I think it's fine. I love adding, like, seams, textures, and stuff to clothes. I love it. Ruffles, like trims. You can make a simple outfit look so much more realistic by just adding a little tiny bit of texture. Okay. Hey, guess what, guys? We're gonna do it again because I wanted to add stars to this this shirt pattern. So, <laughs> total correction, gradient map. Uh, I roughly know what colors I want to use now because I, I use similar ones in the hair. So 
Uh, uh, that one there. That one there. I'm just gonna just so the shading pops. Great, your map is your second kind of a favorite kind of map now after treasure. That's fine. That's fine. I understand the allure of a treasure map. Okay, now it, now it's uh, it, that's that's the color that I wanted it to be. So I'll erase the stuff that I don't want to be. That's red color. And then I'll get to work on the patterns. And then I'll just erase all of the in-between bits. And suddenly, wow, it's a pink shirt with red stars on it! Whoa! The stars are so cute, thank you. I think there's something so nice about like hand drawing a pattern. Actually, I want to add like a little one poking out here because it just feels like the the shirt is like too empty. So I love with the shirt. Thank you. Now I got the red to do, which isn't very much, so it won't take very long. And I already know what colors I'm going to shade with. What a shocker. the ribbons to shade too. Hold on. I don't want to overdo these, so I think I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Like, I might end up adding a little bit more detail later, but, um, also this isn't a commission piece, so I might not. <laughs> you never know! Uh, I should probably add some shadow for the ribbon on the shorts. Cool. And then there's some extra details that I want to add. Um... I mean, you can see in here, there was some lace here, there are some like pieces here, and uh, there's some mesh tights and like a waist, a waist uh, tie thing. So I'm gonna take that gold color that I wanted to use. And I'm gonna add some rivets in here. Somehow. Currently looks nuts, but don't worry. Now they look like rivets. Hmm, you guys are a little close together. Gotta, gotta move this little donut shape up. There we go. I 
You're a little lopsided, aren't you? Add some detail to your outfits. Draw some tiny donuts. <gasps> Nothing stopping you. Okay, and then I'm going to add some saturated shading. Nice. So I'm just adding like the tiniest little bit of shadow ever just to make them kind of pop a little bit more. Cool. Uh, and then I wanted to add the, the like waist chain thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it really simply, honestly. I'm gonna take one of my chain brushes and just, uh, just draw it in with a, a stroke outline and then add the, the details. Uh, that's my default Clip Studio chain brush, but I have some more interestingly shaped ones, I guess. Yep, lovely. I think instead of the two chains that I had on the sketch, I'm just gonna do the one. But I did like the like little funny wing shapes that I added in here. If I could recreate it. There we go. And some of that saturated shading again. And I'm going to erase the bits that are covered by the ribbon. Here we go! Getting a tiny little bit more shadow. Just for depth. Lovely! What else have I got left to do? Oh, the tights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tights, tights. Uh, that's okay. I have a, a brush that I'm gonna use somewhere in here. I have so many brushes, it's like nuts. Ah, this one. The medium sized tights. I think I'm gonna use it in that red. Oh, but I want the mesh to be smaller, but not if I make it too small, then it doesn't cover the whole leg. Oh, life is so hard. Oh, you are so close! That's okay, I can mesh transform that. And it won't walk too much. I use a lot of brushes. I think that they are a blessing. No, I don't want it to be that much smaller though. Okay. Gonna add some shading and some highlight. Shade, shade, shading, shading, shading. Highlight! Oh, I want that orangey color though. Nice! We got some mesh going on. Well, we got some fishnet going on. 
And then I'm gonna add some little pearls in. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to add like a pattern or like a little pearl, but I think little pearls are really cute. Uh, I had a brush somewhere. No. <laughs> My brushes. Oh, is it this one? And some some darker outline on it. I love types of like like little things in them, like like beads and stuff. I think they're so cute. But I'm worried that I'll break them immediately if I get some. So I. I haven't. <laughs> I can just see myself like spending loads of money on some fancy ties and then immediately like ripping a huge hole in them. Okay, what else have I got to do? Oh, I got to adjust the nails because I accidentally colored some of them in slightly. Then I gotta color in some line art. <laughs> Where did my line art go? Oh, there it is. Uh, I don't want to do loads of coloring on the line art because a lot of it kind of goes well already, but I am just gonna lighten up a couple of these lines. Especially on the side where it's gonna be like more lit on this side. bits to do. One is adding some more highlight to the eyelashes. No, I think I like that one better without. Oh, I have to color the tongue in. Of course I do. What's wrong with me? More it. <laughs> Not in that way. In the lighting way. Sorry. Uh, add a little bit more shading around the face, probably. Make some of the lines red. Okay, I think we're almost done. Oh, I wanted to add some like details into the hat. Like studs or something. Or I could use uh, like the little piercings. Oh, or like safety pins. It has to be safety pins. Safety pins! I know what I want, and it's a hat with safety pins in it. <laughs> 
Okay, we're, we're so close now. I think, um, I was thinking about adding lace down the middle of the ship. I think I like it better without, compared to the sketch. I think it, it, like, it's too soft looking with the lace. Uh, so let's keep it without, and then when I finish, if I decide to change it, then, uh, so be it. Okay. Ooh, I'm laggy. I lagged for a hot second. <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay, let's see. Do I want to add a outline? Oh, you can see that I'm lagging because my model is fucking bouncing around. Uh... No, wait. I don't want to do that. I just accidentally hit a button that's going to take ages to load and then it's going to take ages to undo. Off to have dinner? No worries! Enjoy your dinner! I hope you have something very, very tasty. Enjoy, enjoy! And thank you very much for the, the gift sub! Have a lovely rest of your weekend! We're really, really close to being done now, at least. I am gonna add... some outline. I'm gonna duplicate this. Add some shadow. And then, I think to finish, all I want to do is is add some cute little doodles all over the background. One of my favourite things to do is add loads of doodles at the end. Uh, so I will write my name. Probably. If I can. Uh, I messed up the handwriting right at the end. Oh, honestly, you know, I think it might be nice with just the 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 text there. I don't think it needs any more. Well. I was expecting to draw loads of doodles on this, but actually I think it looks better with just the, the like square background and then the text to set it off. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Uh, I think we are just about finished with this piece now. Here's a, a closer look. So you can see it all. Woo! We did it! We did it! Thank you so much for keeping me company while I was drawing. Um, I hope you have an amazing weekend, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for coming and sitting with me while I, I draw something self-indulgent for me for once. Uh, and I, I hope you, you enjoy the rest of your weekend, whatever you may be doing. My next stream will probably be Monday-ish. Give or take. I don't know exactly when it'll be, but uh, the next day that I'm free, it will probably be Monday. So either I will be playing uh, some video games or I will be doing some commission work. Um, it depends on what commission work I have in and if I'm allowed to do it on stream. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you all next time.